Hi everyone, how are we? Um, welcome to my FA Cup third round predictions. Please like, share and follow. And comment your own predictions. Starting Thursday at Selhurst Park, you've got an all Premier League between Crystal Palace and Everton. I know Everton lost 3 0 in the Premier League the other day, but this is the FA Cup, they want to get as far as possible. Um, I'm sure they're going to put this as well as their bid for survival um, as the priorities, as that's the only two tournaments they've got left now to play in. Palace can be awkward to play, but I fancy, despite Everton's last game, their current form, I think Everton are going to nick it 2 1. So, my prediction on the first evening game is Crystal Palace nil, Everton 2. On to the Friday game to start at Brentford against Wolves. Um, I think Wolves are going to win this. Their form and the that is pretty good at the moment. Brentford, they're not doing as well at, at home as they have been well last season. And yeah, so I think Wolves are going to nick it um, two one. To Craven Cottage for Fulham against Wotherham. Rotherham who are bottom of the championship. Um, Fulham at home, well, Fulham at one against Arsenal recently at home, just um, the other day. So um, I think um, Rotherham, Rotherham will have, um, Fulham will have too much for Rotherham. Rotherham won't be able to really make much of an impact. So my prediction is Fulham 4, Rotherham nil. On to the last game on Friday, it's Spurs against Burnley. I know Spurs lost at Brighton, but they backed it up with, um, well, I'm backing it up. They, um, responded with a, um, good win against Bournemouth. And I think they'll get another good one, good win against Burnley. My prediction is Spurs 3, Burnley 0. On to the Saturday games. First game is AFC Wimbledon. He gets Ipswich. I know Ipswich have probably not won in like five or something, despite doing so well until that poor one in, in the championship. But I think this is an opportunity for Ipswich to get back on winning ways. Um, you okay? You're playing against the team um, mid table in League Two, but these kind of games can get your season back on track. So uh, my prediction is AFC Wimbledon one. Ipswich 4. On to Coventry City against Oxford United. I think, well, Coventry are just out of the playoff spots. Oxford are doing what they're doing in, in, in League 1. So I think um, when I looked at the tables, I came up, this, came up with this prediction. Coventry City 3, Oxford United 1. On to Maidstone of the National League South against Stevenage of League One. I think um, as much as I am a big supporter for the underdog, I have to be trying to be more realistic rather than saying realistic. The upset happens, of course. So yeah, um, my prediction is Maidstone United 1, Stevenage 3. On to Sunderland against Newcastle. Now this one's a bit of a um, turn up for the books, for my predictions. Um, everyone would say 6-0 Newcastle or something. It's a derby. Newcastle, um, Sunderland would be right up for it. They would give their absolute best. Newcastle probably won't be so... Um, I don't know. They probably will be hungry for the FA Cup. Because they don't have Europe to look at. And they're out of the title race, surely. Um, so I think they'll go through this. But um, it's hard to know which Newcastle turn up, if they do. Sunderland 2, Newcastle 3. A five-goal thriller in a derby, of course. Blackburn Rivers against Cambridge is next. Cambridge are having a struggle in League One. Um, and going to Ewood Park is going to be a tough one. But, um, you know, if you're the underdog, you win this game and your season turns around for the better. 
but I can't see it happening. So I have to be honest, Blackburn Rovers 3, Cambridge United 0. Now the first major upset of a prediction I've got. Gillingham against Sheffield United. Gillingham in League 2 against Sheffield United of the Premier League. Everyone says Sheffield United because they have played better since they got rid of their last manager and got Chris Wilder back in. But this is the FA Cup, a Saturday afternoon in Kent. My prediction is Gillingham 2, Sheffield United 1. Um, on to Hull City against Birmingham City. Rooney just got sacked today as manager of Birmingham after 15 days and 15 games in charge. Um, so yeah, I wonder how. I don't think they're gonna suddenly play the best football um, because Birmingham haven't done not done that well this season, to be honest. And hold on in the playoff spots. So my prediction is Hull City two, Birmingham nil. On to Newport County against Eastleigh. Another upset I've got, a I've got as a prediction. Newport County of League 2, 1, Eastleigh the National League, 2. And, yeah. On to Norwich City against Bristol Rovers. 3-1 um, Norwich, Bristol Rovers. Yeah, they're not doing great in the League 1. But I think also Norwich just... I just think they have too much of Bristol Rovers, to be honest. So yeah, that's my prediction. On to Plymouth Argyle against Sutton. I know Plymouth are somewhat struggling in the championship. So this is probably a crazy prediction. But Sutton United are second to bottom of the na of um, League 2. Just one place above Forest Green. So um, my prediction has to be, with that in mind... Plymouth 6, Sutton and Neil. On to QPR against Bournemouth. Well, we know how well Bournemouth are doing at the moment. And um, going to QPR in the relegation zone in the championship. It has to be said, Bournemouth all the way. QPR nil, Bournemouth 4. On to St Mary's and Southampton against Walsall. Yeah, 5-0 Southampton. Don't have too much Walsall. Yeah, then they'll get through. For, and then on to Stoke City against Brighton. Go to the bet three six five. Um, my prediction is Stoke will get a um, big us a game. I was tempted to give him a goal, but I think just the class and despite losing a few players to Afcon and Asian Cup and when injuries and whatever. Um, yeah, I think we're still. Got what it takes to walk this, to be honest. Stoke City nil, Brighton four. On to Watford against Chesterfield. Watford on the championship against Chesterfield, top of the National League. I'll give Chesterfield a goal. I'll give him a goal. They're top of the National League. But I'll give Watford three. I, has, I have to be honest. It's a no brainer. 3 1 Watford. On to Chelsea against Preston at North End. Well, i put this prediction, and it'd be funny if Chelsea played a young team, or just didn't turn up. But um, Preston North End are really struggling at the moment. So, um, my prediction is Chelsea 5, Preston North End 1. So, yeah. On to the um, other predictions. I've got middle spurt against Aston Villa. This will be on BBC One, I think. I think well, Aston Villa are fantastic, aren't they? Um, apart from that performance against Man United and Sheffield United. Other than that, they've been fantastic. And so therefore, um, they go to the Riverside to play middle spur. I will actually give middle spur a goal, but Ollie Watkins and Co. are fantastic. Middle, middle spur one, Aston Villa. Three. On to Sheffield Wednesday against Cardiff City. Well, I do predict, despite each other's league forms, in the league you'd say Cardiff, in the FA Cup I'm saying Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday 2, Cardiff City 1. On to Swansea City against Morecambe. 
Well, Morecambe are not doing great in the national in nationally in League Two, and Swansea are doing fair and the fairly okay in the Championship, I guess. So I'm going to say Swansea City four, Morecambe nil. On to the Sunday games, starting Luton against Bolton. Bolton second in the League One against Luton, who gave um, Chelsea a fantastic game at Kenworth Road the other day. Um, Luton three, Bolton one. Luton will do fantastic. Um, they'll dominate, but um, they do have a thing of conceding a goal. And I think Bolton will be full of confidence with how they're doing in League One. So yeah, Luton three, Bolton one. To the Etihad for Man City is Huddersfield. I have to be honest, I would wish I could say Huddersfield to stun the world of football and knock Man City out. Um, but I can't see it happening. So if it happens, amazing. If not, it's what it is. So Man City 5, Huddersfield 0. Nottingham Forest against Blackpool. Yeah, I think Nottingham Forest um, will take confidence from that win against Manchester United. I mean, it's not hard to beat Man United, but when you do beat a club with that history and everything, it's always a confidence booster. So I think they'll go and beat Blackpool 4 1 with that confidence and get me to the fourth round of the FA Cup. To Peterborough against Leeds. Now, this is an upset. I predict Peterborough United to beat Leeds 2 1. The League One side will knock out the Championship side. We just got relegated from the um, Premier League last season and sit third in the Championship. Next game, Shrewsbury against Wrexham. League 1 against League 2. Wrexham, I have to say Wrexham. Um, it's going to be another somewhat upset until they play each other next season in the same division. Um, so, yeah, I think um, um, Shrewsbury, rather. I think um, Shrewsbury... Um, I think Wrexham will have two, two on Wrexham's my prediction. On to West Bromwich Albion against Aldershot. Aldershot are doing that great as they potentially, yeah, whatever, um, in the National League. So I think West Brom are going to win 4 0. To West Ham Stadium for West Ham United against Bristol City. I just think West Ham will have too much for um, Bristol City. I'm just, yeah, it's just. It's, yeah, I think they've got Brighton tonight in the Premier League and they're doing well, they're on form. And they beat United recently and so on. So, 4 1, West Ham United. Now, on to the game of the weekend. Sunday evening. Arsenal against Liverpool for a place in the fourth round. What a game. Arsenal on a bit of a dodgy bit of form at the moment, at the wrong time. Because, well, for this game, and also, they could be throwing away the title if they don't turn around. This is the game for them to turn around, or is it? Liverpool have been fantastic. They lose Mo Salah to African Cup of Nations. Probably a couple of other players um, are going. Um, so, yeah. Um, my prediction, then, is Arsenal also, I guess. But even so... My prediction is Arsenal 3, Liverpool 2. What's upset? Not upset. What a prediction. On to Monday Night Football for Wigan. Who's struggling in League 1 against Manchester United. Well, you know, it'd just be so funny. And it'd just be so funny if Wigan were to dump Man United out. And I think that would be the nail in the coffin for Ten Hag. I think he'll be sacked if United go out. Wigan don't have any confidence. This could be 6 0 Man United, let's be honest. I don't think it will be because United don't have any confidence. United don't have any consistency. Wigan Athletic 1, Manchester United 3. Yeah, 3. Thanks for watching my FA Cup Fund Run predictions. Hope you enjoy them. And um, yeah, cheers. Well, thanks. Thanks, bye.